I remember America. Sure, you can still find it on a map, but nobody older than 20 thinks this is America. Even if coordinates are the same, we've lost our compass. You don't have a direction without reference, a true north. For America, it was liberty. When we lost the love of liberty, our understanding of liberty, it was just a matter of time before the rest of it was lost. Some think it started when the auto companies were nationalized, or the police state to control the internet, or when certain companies couldn't fail because their relationship with politicians made them too big to fail, and the rest of us, without political influence, were too small to succeed. Sure, that all happened pretty quickly. There were just a couple of years, but liberty had been gradually devolving for decades. And some of the more astute, like Ayn Rand, saw it about 50 years before others. She warned us. But people didn't believe it could happen here until it did. Laws had been used to loot productive individuals and businesses, but in the new millennium, under Bush, then Obama, graft, corruption, and crony capitalism were no longer hidden behind closed doors. The looters and their laws came out of hiding like rabid animals that were no longer afraid of humans. It was brought into the spotlight, and it was celebrated as enlightened economic policy. Ayn Rand asked the question Atlas Shrugged that the rest of us were asking 60 years later. Which failing financial institution will the administration pluck from the flames of crisis? And which will it let roast? Which market or investment technique will the regulators bless? And which, in a capricious change of rules, will it condemn or outlaw? As John Galt said in his radio address, You decided you had a right to your wages, but we had no right to our profits. You called it selfish and cruel that men should trade value for value. But you've now established an unselfish society where they trade extortion for extortion. People who had never produced or managed anything tried to manage every aspect of our lives, and they brought production to a standstill. And eventually, they decided to micromanage the food supply in the name of fairness and safety. And we all know what happened then. Fiction can be a powerful influence, for good or bad. It's too bad more people didn't read Atlas Shrugged. They might have realized where this was heading. 